Hey, I'm Scotty. I'm a volunteer at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. And when it comes to your guinea pig's health and well-being, this might be the most important video that you see all year. 20 easy emergency kit items that you need to get right now. If you don't have these items in your emergency kit or you don't have an emergency kit, these are the items that you need. The first item, which many people probably would guess is critical care. Critical care is a powdered emergency food. It comes in uh, a different varieties, different flavors, and by different names from different companies. Oxbow makes what they call critical care, but there's a number of, of emergency foods made by different companies like Sherwood or Amir Aid, like emergency aid, and they come in different flavors. I recommend getting as many as you can, at least two or three, because there'll be different flavors, different consistencies, and when you've got a piggy that is eating uh, emergency food like maybe they have tooth issues or they're recovering from a surgery or an illness they can get sick of those flavors pretty quickly and having different flavors can really uh, promote them to want to eat it because they're not getting the same thing over and over and if you've got a piggy that maybe has digestive issues small soft or misshapen poops the critical care generally has a probiotic ingredient. It has a yeast culture that can aid in their digestion by introducing good gut bacteria and improve the health of their gut biome. So it's got a lot of uses. It's absolutely essential. You can give it to piggies that are underweight and it just, it's a well-rounded nutrition. Now, of course, it's not a substitute for hay. Of course, hay, hay is 80% of guinea pig's diet, but critical care, absolutely essential in their, in your emergency kit. So what's the second item? Second item is pediatric electrolyte solution or electrolyte powder. It comes in a liquid form and it comes in a powder form. And if you have a piggy that's dehydrated or they're not eating or drinking, this is a really great way to get those electrolytes to rehydrate them. It's just something that you're gonna wanna have. If your piggies get overheated or like I said, if they're not eating or drinking, you can give them this and it's just absolutely an essential thing. The powder is really good because they might come in individual packs, individual single serving packs, and that way they will last a long time, shelf stable, and uh, of course it doesn't need to be refrigerated or anything like that. And I recommend either the liquid or the powder. So definitely pediatric electrolyte solution the name brand is usually Pedialyte or something like that, but you can get a generic brand. There will be links to all of these items in the description here below. And in the free guinea pig care guide on my website, I often share a lot of these links and talk about these items in more detail because the more we know about these items and being prepared and common illnesses and diet and nutrition, the better piggy parents we can be. So pediatric electrolyte solution. That is the number two, my second emergency kit must have item. So number three is baby gas drops. Simithicone, it's, it's a, a liquid solution that if your piggies are bloated and you can tell if their belly is all puffed up and you tap it and it has this hollow sound, and they maybe they are showing signs of pain or being uncomfortable, they are filled with gas and that can be deadly. Gas, bloating, GI stasis can be really uncomfortable and it's quite an emergency. These baby gas drops are not a cure, but they can really reduce the gas and the pain while you are getting to the vet. So it's, it's really important. And remember, your vet is going to have uh, much more powerful, better medicines for fighting gas and bloat and they have motility drugs to get that digestion moving. So baby gas drops are not a cure, not a substitute for going to the vet. Bloat is very serious and it, it, it definitely requires a vet visit. But the baby gas drops can really be a lifesaver, can make your piggies feel a lot better when you're scrambling to get to the vet. Number four, the fourth must have item, I think, is Child Life Liquid Vitamin C. 
child life liquid vitamin C. It is the vitamin C that comes in a liquid form. It's for kids. It tastes great. It has kind of a little orange flavor. The small glass bottles have over 115 servings. And so instead of those vitamin C cookies, which it's debatable about whether or not that vitamin C is even shelf stable or it hasn't uh, degraded over time, this Child Life Liquid Vitamin C is guaranteed to give your piggies that vitamin C. And one syringe full is 50 milligrams of vitamin C. Vitamin C is important for so many things like uh, overall immune system for piggies that are healing from a surgery or a if they have a cut it really helps in the repairing of tissue it's it's really important for overall heart health so piggies that may have heart disease it can vitamin c can actually help prevent heart disease i recommend giving your piggies vitamin c regularly and uh, I've got videos about vitamin C in more depth in my free guinea pig care guide on my website. Child life liquid vitamin C is very important. It can teach your piggies not to fear the syringe, to like the syringe, and if your piggies are taking some medicine that doesn't taste good, you can put a little bit of that child life liquid vitamin C in the front of the syringe or dip the syringe in it to make it taste a little better and it can make that bad tasting medicine taste better. So definitely an essential item for your emergency kit. Number five, we've been talking about a lot of liquids and medicines and one milliliter syringes are the most common syringes that we use at the rescue and that I use here with my piggies. So it is important to have some on hand. Now you can usually get some from your vet that your vet will be perfectly happy to give you an extra syringe or two, but it doesn't hurt to have a big box of syringes. They'll last you many, many years and they're very affordable. So I'd say get a box of syringes and keep them on hand. You never know when you're going to need one. Number six is Bactine or Betadine, antiseptic, something to clean a cut or a wound. And we recommend either Bactine spray or Betadine. It's a concentrated liquid that you would mix in water and it will clean a wound. It can clean any raw or exposed skin and it can prevent infection by cleaning that area. So very, very important to have some kind of antiseptic on hand. Number seven then is Q-tips or cotton balls, something to actually administer that antiseptic to clean the area. Q-tips and cotton balls work really well. And of course, there's probably a million other uses for both of those. Number eight then would be antibiotic ointment. Having some kind of antibiotic ointment to make sure that that wound doesn't get infected after it's been cleaned is very important. So if there is a cut or a scratch or your piggies have been bit, then uh, antibiotic ointment is very important. And I will mention a side note that a specific antibiotic ointment, teramycin, which we use exclusively for eyes, uh, is something that you would want to have in your emergency kit. But an all-purpose antibiotic ointment for cuts and for wounds, and it's probably something that you have in your first aid kit for yourself. You can use those, but it doesn't hurt to just have a separate one for them. Number nine is Benebac Probiotic. It comes in a paste or a gel or a powder, and that can go a long way to improving your guinea pig's gut health, their gut biome, the paste, is comes in a syringe like a big syringe that you just feed to them it has a number of servings or the powder that you can mix in water it's similar to the ingredients that are in the critical care but it is just a highly concentrated form of probiotic bacteria that really can improve your piggy's gut health gut biome if your piggies have soft squishy poops i've really seen it do uh, wonders for improving digestion uh, improving the shape of those poops. So definitely Benabac, something that you want to have in your emergency kit. And number 10 is charcoal. Activated charcoal capsules also can help with the digestion. We use those more for like runny poops, diarrhea, that kind of thing. 
the charcoal can go a long way to helping that to reversing the diarrhea and getting those poops back to normal. You can use them together, but generally if it's soft or squishy, we say Benerbach and uh, the charcoal is more for really runny poops, but it can't hurt at when you see the poops are not good, they're starting to get really squishy. The activated charcoal can be really an effective cure. So I do have it's called Diarrhea Cure. It's a video. It is embedded in the illness section of my care guide, but you can also search Scotty's Animals Diarrhea Cure, and you'll see how to use the activated charcoal capsules. Just open up that powder and you mix it with water, and I go through step-by-step -step how to do that, and that video will show you how to cure diarrhea in your piggies. Definitely something that you don't want to wait on. If your piggies are having really runny, messy poops, that is something that you would want to really do. And I would say if the charcoal doesn't cure it after 24 hours or a day and a half or so, then you really want to go to the vet. But I've seen the charcoal do really well with, with uh, getting rid of those runny poops, improving the digestion of your piggies and improving their, their poop quality which as we all know, the poops are a really important barometer to the overall health of your piggies. Number 11, this is something that you probably already have. It's a water bottle, but I want you to take a water bottle, a little one, and put it in the freezer right now. It may be cold where you are, but have a frozen water bottle in the freezer at all times in case your piggies get overheated. It's just a really easy thing to have. So doesn't matter if it's if it's cold where you are, put it in the back of your fridge and then it'll be there. And maybe you bump your knee and you can use it for yourself. But it's really important to always have one, one of those. And in the hotter months, you can wrap it in a sock and put it in the carrier when you're going, wherever you're going with your piggies. Really important to have something like that. And since we're talking about a carrier, that's number 12. Some kind of small, soft carrier is actually really important if your piggies are not feeling well. Now, I recommend getting a pet store cage if you've got one or two piggies and they can travel in style in one of these big plastic tub bottom pet store cages. It's a really, really awesome thing to have for your piggies and they can travel in style. It's good airflow. You can hook a water bottle up. But in an emergency, a small, soft carrier could be the difference between fumbling or getting out of the door quickly going to the emergency vet. So number 13 is fleece blankets or towels. You want to have some dedicated fleece blankets or towels for your piggy. You want to have them different sizes in case you need to hold your piggies, in case you need to cradle them, in case you need to move them, or blankets or towels to line that carrier. It's going to be really important to have just a number of fleece towels, even if you use pine bedding or some other kind of wood bedding for your for your cages having towels dedicated for your piggies is really important number 14 <laughs> nail clippers this is the year this is the year that you're going to start clipping your piggies nails now a lot of you guys are already doing it let me know in the comments were you afraid when you first started clipping the nails or did you always have the confidence? What advice would you give to somebody who is scared, a little uncomfortable about it? Now I do have some videos where I go through my advice. I've got a video called Bad Nail Clipping and I've got another video about specifically black nails, techniques on how to clip nails if they are dark, if you can't see through them. But my simple advice is just do it. You will get good at it. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Just be patient, and if you can't tell where to clip, then clip less and just be conservative about the clipping, and you will do fine. Guinea pigs' nails tend to, the less you clip, the more likely they are to bleed, even if it doesn't hurt them or bother them. So that's why number 15 is styptic powder. Styptic powder, it's just a powder you put on the nail if it is bleeding and it stops the bleeding very quickly. It's inexpensive. The jar that you get is gonna last for years and years. So styptic powder and nail clippers, come on. This is the year that you are taking care of your piggies, clipping their nails. The more you handle them, the easier it will be. So you can do this. 
Speaking of handling, number 16 is a bathing tub. From time to time, our piggies get dirty. They really can benefit from a bath. And not only that, there may be situations where you need to give your piggies a bath for some other reason. Maybe they've gotten something on them or they have a cut or something that needs to be cleaned and the easiest way is to do it in a pan. So I recommend a little plastic shoe box. You can get these organizing boxes in different sizes and shapes at the dollar store. And a nice plastic shoe box si size box bin. You put that in the sink and you can easily fill it up and drain it. And it's an easy way for you to bathe your piggies. Number 17 would be head and shoulders because I think that when it comes to just a nice, well-rounded antifungal shampoo that's not too expensive, head and shoulders works really well. I like to just put a couple squirts in the water and dilute the water and let my piggies soak in it. If you want to spend a lot of money on an antifungal pet shampoo, you can do that, but head and shoulders works really well. Just the Warm water will go a long way to get your piggies clean, but antifungal shampoo like Head & Shoulders is a ringworm cure and it can help with the flaking, the dandruff, or just any of the itching that you might see. And it really is harmless. Obviously we use it ourselves and once in a while it's gonna be fine to give your piggies and it, it can cure ringworm and they really can benefit from a bath. Number 18, Manuka honey. Just like we were talking about antibiotic ointment, Manuka honey is actually an ingredient that can help promote healing. You can use it uh, in your piggy's mouth if they have some kind of a cut or, or if they've broken their teeth to prevent an infection. I was instructed by my vet to give it to them um, when my piggies had a tooth spur. And that way it just, it's antimicrobial and uh, Manuka honey, it's pretty, uh, pretty affordable. You can find it in most places. You can order it online. There'll be links to all this stuff. Number 19, gauze, gauze and vet wrap. So if your piggies do have a wound or a cut or something like that, having gauze is gonna be really an important way if you need to wrap your piggies. And the vet wrap is a way that keeps that, that gauze on so if your piggies have hurt their paw or something like that or if uh, they have some wound or they need their entire body wrapped vet wrap and gauze really important it's just uh, something you should have and it will last a long time you may not need it but you know once a year or, or it may be something that you very rarely use but definitely something you're going to want if you do need it Number 20, this might not be the most obvious, but it may be the most important. And it's not an item, but it's something, someone to have in your corner. That is a vet, an experienced exotic vet. And I'd recommend having at least two vets from different practices. And maybe one of them is a 24 hour emergency hospital. Really important to know where to go if you need to go somewhere in emergencies. So I would definitely recommend touching base with a vet, you know, meeting your vet, going for a checkup. This is, it's non-negotiable. Having a pet means caring for them when they are well and when they are unwell. And it's, it really is non-negotiable. So let this be a wake up call that not only do you need an emergency kit with items, but maybe you need just a small emergency fund so that in an emergency, if it's not something that you can take care of at home, then you can go to the vet. And that's, that's what credit cards are for, for unexpected emergency costs. Definitely have a vet, be, have the resources to go to a vet. And it, it really helps to have a relationship with that vet before there's an emergency, especially when it comes to, you know, if you've got a lot of piggies and you're going to the vet, you build that relationship, they may be more likely to squeeze you in if, if uh, you've built that relationship before. And actually some vets, sometimes they are not taking on new clients, new patients. So you wanna have that relationship established. So there you go, that is 20 
emergency kit items that you need to get right now. So it's a new year and let's really step up our game. These are things that they don't cost a lot. They don't take a lot of time. You don't have to overthink it. Just get these items, have them in your emergency kit so that you're prepared. And just being prepared, having that peace of mind is really priceless. So I hope that you learned something. I hope that even if you have a well-stocked emergency kit, maybe you're thinking, oh, you know what? I'm low on critical care. Maybe you've got a couple types of critical care, but maybe you get one more. You try that papaya fine grind because your piggies, if they're not feeling well and they're eating the same thing over and over, they will really appreciate that. Or maybe you're running low on syringes or whatever it is. I hope that this helps you be more prepared and let me know in the comments, what do you think is the most valuable item? And let me know what other advice you have for new piggy owners or for all of us, because it never hurts to get a kick in the pants to, to uh, you know, reaffirm our commitment to being prepared. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.